Hi Abhinav, how are you? How hey, are hi. you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine too. Uh, so my name is Rutuja Lokhande and I'll be taking your interview today. Sure. Uh, yeah, so uh, I hope you're staying uh, stay safe and healthy. Yes, trying to. Great, great. So thank you so much for joining today. Uh, and we'll just get started. So sure. I understand that you're uh, currently working at Flipkart as a software development engineer, right? Uh, so you worked at Flipkart for around two years. So can you tell us a little about your journey and your career path? Sure. Uh, sure. I think about uh, Flipkart. Basically, I joined uh, two years back, mm -hmm. and uh, I joined the uh, user insights team, which was mainly working on big data. So okay. before this, I did not have any background in big data, but uh, that wasn't a concern. Basically, okay. uh, during the interviews, it was mentioned that uh, I mean, prerequisite knowledge of just Java or any one of the programming languages would be enough. Right. Apart from that, uh, I mean, about my journey, I think I, uh, I I joined as an SD one. I got promoted sometime last year in October to SD two, right. basically. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, I think uh, overall, I would say it's, it's been a good journey. Uh, there have been a lot of okay. uh, org org movements uh, for, for my team. Right. But, uh, Okay, great. So, uh, can you tell us uh, what is your role uh, exactly? Like, what do you work on? Sure. So, as an SDA two, my I have multiple responsibilities. Uh, one of them being the development, design, and development of uh, uh, multiple uh, projects. Uh, right. So, for me, uh, mainly the tech stack would be uh, something to do with uh, big data. That is uh, Spark, Hadoop, and Edgebase, okay. Hive. These distributed uh, systems, basically. Both uh, distributed okay, okay. processing and uh, distributed uh, storage. Um, so for me, it would be uh, I mean, Flipkart has a total uh, uh, user base of 300 million and okay. say a uh, daily active uh, user base of around 50 million. Um, so, writing uh, jobs to scale to this level, uh, so that, that right. would be my job. And apart from this, uh, I am uh, mentoring a few SD ones. Okay, all right, great. Uh, so, uh, can you can you tell us a little about the interview process at your company for your role? Uh, like, how many interview rounds are there, and uh, sure. something else? Sure, sure, sure. So, uh, yeah. should I mention for SD two or? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Sure. So, basically, uh, the first thing that happens is uh, basically a resume shortlisting. Uh, this right. can happen either if uh, someone from internal uh, Flipkart is referring, or uh, say. Someone has applied directly from outside. Uh, so once okay. the resume shortlist happens, uh, there are let's say uh, one of the two possibilities that happen. One is that um, the interview is lined up for a uh, say uh, once again. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we have uh, some days wherein uh, we, we uh, entire day will be uh, taking interviews. So okay. uh, in that case, all the interviews will be lined up on the same day. If not, it is also possible that uh, the interviews are scheduled one by one. Say uh, in Gen case you clear one round, or if you, in case you're not rejected. So okay. that is that is when you progress to the next round. Uh, right. Something I would like to elaborate is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, regarding the interview process, it is not uh, something like uh, clearing round one and then you have round two, something like that. Okay. Uh, even if it is a not no reject, not reject, then they go ahead with the rounds. And at the end, there'll okay. be a debrief, and we'll be uh, noting all the pros and cons at the uh, uh, for all the interviews. So all the interviewers, okay. the hiring manager, and the HR will be sitting together, and we'll be going through the current experience, the and the interview feedback. Okay. So, sure. so, so regarding the interview process, uh, let me start with SD1 first. So yeah. For an SD1, uh, the first round that is uh, basically a machine coding round. So machine coding is nothing but uh, designing uh, a low level design problem, like say designing okay. a parking lot or designing book my show. So okay. what is expected in this is the object oriented uh, programming concepts, uh, right. nothing related to high level design. So okay. the first round. Uh, basically, a question will be given. Will be given uh, sometimes, say around one hour to one point five hours. Okay. Uh, in that time, basically, you will have to code your solution. So after this, the first uh, the the round that happens is basically code review, machine code review. Right. Um, so there'll be an interviewer or two, and they will review your code, and based on it, uh, they will assign your score. <laughs> right. So in a in a case that uh, you are uh, not rejected, I mean, what is called as loop cut, basically. In case okay. you are not uh, cut out of the loop, you will be progressing to the next round. 
So next round is basically uh, it is called as a, a PSDS round. Uh, PS stands for problem solving and DS stands for okay. data structures. All right. Uh, so in this, what is expected is the uh, knowledge of uh, say uh, regular data structures and uh, right. uh, like uh, just like how familiar you are with a particular language. Right. So usually in Flipkart, we do not have a constraint on the language. It can be uh, of your preferred choice. Unless it is a very team specific hiring that ha that is happening, in that case, may there could be a, a language uh, constraint. Okay. Okay. So uh, after this, uh, uh, for an SD one, there would be an HM round. HM basically stands for hiring manager round. In this, okay. basically, there there are uh, two possibilities that can happen. Uh, one is that the hiring manager goes through your current work experience. This this will be more so of a behavioral round. Yeah. And they will try to figure out what is the reason they, you want to leave your current company. What is the reason they want to join, say, Flipkart, yeah. and uh, current work experience, and a little bit about uh, 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 some something like pressure handling in current uh, company or tough situation and how how the person acted. Yeah. So uh, that is what happens in an HM now. Okay. In some cases, what happens is uh, uh, the hiring manager also goes ahead. I mean, they wind up the behavioral question in like 10, 15 minutes, and they also uh, ask you related to PSDS. So that is right. a rare okay. possibility, but that happens. Okay. Sure. All right. Sure. So for an SD2, the only addition that is there is basically a uh, uh, system design norm. Okay. So in system design, basically, uh, they expect you to code a high level uh, design. You will be given a problem statement. Okay. And in uh, so this there won't be any initial time for it. It will be a direct interview, and okay. say uh, uh, so all these interview rounds will be uh, the time would be somewhere between uh, the duration would be somewhere between uh, forty five minutes to one hour. All right. Okay. Okay. Great. So uh, since we're talking about interviews, and you even mentioned a resume screening uh, screening yeah. round. So uh, and uh, resumes are an essential part of the hiring process. So uh, can you tell us uh, what is it that is looked for in resumes for this room? Sure. So I think uh, that uh, there could be multiple things over there again. Right. Um, so one thing is the relevant uh, work experience, like uh, in case uh, Flipkart is hiring for say big data or something yeah. related to ML engineer. So yeah. having some kind of relevant work experience. Uh, if not that, then for an SD1 role, uh, they usually look for, uh, uh, if the interviews are happening off campus, then we usually look for someone with an experience of one to two years, okay. or sometimes even higher. And okay. then they look at other factors like the college, the projects, the okay. uh, uh, the uh, the current company that the candidate is working on. Yeah. So these things matter. Okay, right. Uh, so uh, now I'm I'm sure a lot of people would want to know how should candidates prepare for this role? Like, what area should they focus on, or any tips or resources? Sure. So for resume, I would say having a clean one-page resume uh, that that does a must initially because most HRs won't have like a lot of time to go through your resume. So if you have right. like uh, two three pages of resume, that doesn't work or like uh, something important might get missed. Like HR might actually look at something else, and right. uh, they might feel okay. Uh, you, uh, I mean, it, it it's not good enough to make the cut. So yeah. firstly, having a one-page one-page resume. Okay. Apart from that, uh, I would say having uh, relevant uh, software development experience or uh, like uh, something that you elaborate or uh, some kind of automation that you have done or okay. somewhere where you can showcase that you're actually interested in uh, development and right. uh, first, first is interest and then second is showing your uh, capability as well, uh, which can be displayed by uh, some, some project that you have worked on. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, so we we talked about how to prepare for this role and what the interview process looks like. But uh, in the end, I think it all just boils down to how you perform in the interviews. It, it could make or break your application. So uh, so tell me, what are some common mistakes that you have seen candidates uh, make in in during the interviews, and any tips on how they can avoid these mistakes? Sure. So um, let me start with uh, the PSDS round. That is a data structure yeah. round. I think yeah. a common mistake that a lot of people do is like in case uh, they are given a question that they have seen before, they rightly jump to the solution. So that is not what mm -hmm. is expected uh, in an uh, in a PSDS interview. What uh, we expect you to ask multiple follow up questions that is for clarity. Like 
just giving a statement like uh, find an integer in an array uh, i mean you should not jump to the solution there could be multiple cases here like whether the entire right. array is fitting in memory or not and uh, or whether the array contains integers only or it is there long long values as well yeah. so we have noticed that people just assume that the uh, values are integers that the uh, say the array will fit in memory so what happens in this this is a red flag basically and okay. uh, so yeah that that would be about uh, psds yeah <laughs> similarly for system design also i would say asking a lot of uh, follow up questions is an essential uh, okay. otherwise like if i give you a question like just design click bus uh this the solution would vary a lot in case i'm saying there's just uh, 10 users in one particular city versus there's like a million users in uh, multiple uh, country so okay. getting these clarifying questions is very important uh, so this is one mistake that uh, i have noticed many people making right okay all right yes. so uh like uh, how does a candidate make sure that he or she is not making this mis- these mistakes like how does one prepare for such interviews and uh, Uh, would you recommend candidates to take mock interviews sure so yes i think uh, a lot of times so uh, like i mentioned uh, just knowing the solution is not good enough uh, yeah. you have to uh, like ask relevant questions and uh, you have to make sure that uh, there is a clear uh, communication that that happens so uh, i have seen in some cases maybe the candidate knows the answer but it, uh, he is not able to share that thought process in a correct manner so for yeah. that those cases i would say definitely uh, yeah. having a few mock interviews uh, is is uh, highly recommended uh, yeah. there are some common mistakes that uh, candidates could be making which would be pointed out uh, during these mock interviews right right okay great so uh, nowadays due to the due to the covid situation uh, interviews are being conducted online so uh, do you have any uh, tips that the candidates should keep in mind uh, for the virtual <laughs> interviews Sure. <clears throat> sure. So basically, uh, one thing that is recommended is uh, that these days most of the uh, interviewers will ask you to share your screen, and uh, so right. in that case, uh, like, uh, so you you should be prepared for that. It should not come out as a surprise. Uh, yeah. b- both turning on your video and uh, sharing your screen. So right. that is uh, something uh, they should be prepared with. Other thing is, of course, having a backup internet connection and uh, making sure you have a hat- headphones. So that uh, your voice is uh, clear and audible, and the other person is able to hear you. So these things would definitely be a uh, mandatory thing. Uh, there could be cases wherein the interviewer has bad network, but then the interviewer would uh, try to make up for it. But in case the interview interviewee has bad network, then right. I mean uh, there could be cases wherein the interview might get stretched from one hour to one point, uh, say one hour fifteen minutes. but yeah. in that case uh, it 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 is kind of a uh, negative thing so you should try to okay. manage to handle that all right all right uh, so uh, lastly to conclude uh, what are some final tips that you would give to all the aspiring candidates who are preparing to enter the software development field or uh, preparing to work at flipkart sure so my uh, my tip would be uh, to uh, never look at uh, some technology as uh, something like they cannot understand or something like you know if if they code in java so uh, if, if they just ignore other languages like say python or c++ that right. should not be an attitude uh, you should be open to working in uh, any uh, in different languages and different right. uh, coding paradigms yeah. so um, that will help you have a vast uh, uh, resume vast experience which will make you fit in multiple places so this my recommendation is, is for uh, say initial uh, or uh, freshers or uh, pe- people in their initial work experience yeah i think <clears throat> later on having a in depth knowledge in a particular technology matters more so right. that can happen later but for the starting don't have an attitude wherein you just want to pick one uh, one language so, right okay all right okay. great yeah. thank you thank you so much for sharing that with us it was uh, yeah. is really insi- insightful and i'm sure it's going to help all the candidates who who are going to be uh, watching this so sure. yeah thank you thank you so much yeah. it was really yeah. nice uh, speaking to you yeah, same yeah great bye have a great day you too take care yeah. bye